Oh, hi. So a week ago Wednesday, on June 26, 2013, the Supreme Court voted on Proposition 8, which, for those of you who don't know, is essentially an anti-gay bill that passed in California quite some time ago. The Supreme Court ultimately voted against this bill, and so Prop 8 was officially declared dead in California. But as for anything, no matter how good it is, there are always people who speak out against it, and this is, unfortunately, no different. Now, I've already given two video rants against those proponents against gay marriage, and those two got a bit, well, shouty. And I'm certainly not apologizing for that. This is an issue that I feel very passionate about, and I do get extremely angry and extremely shouty about this particular issue. But I also acknowledge that it's not necessarily rational when people get angry. So what I want to kind of try to do today, on this particular Friday, uh, is do a bit of a calmer rant, and not maybe get so angry and shouty. This is one of those issues that I honestly... I don't understand how anybody can feel in the right to stop people from getting married. I mean, yeah, I hear the reasons. It's Jesus says you shouldn't do it, the Bible says you shouldn't do it, it just feels wrong, but it shouldn't be up to them to decide whether or not people should get married. The idea that this is seriously a debate is just kind of disgusting. I mean, we were doing the same kind of thing decades ago when it came to interracial marriage. And people look back on that and say, yeah, man, can you believe we used to be like that? Stopping people from getting married based on skin color? I'm glad we've moved forward. But the sad thing is, we haven't moved forward. We're doing the exact same thing now that we did then. It's just discrimination against a different set of people. We're discriminating against people who happen to like the same gender, and that's as wrong if not more so, than interracial discrimination that we used to have. It's interesting to me because people act like we've taken so many steps forward, but having this be an argument just shows that we haven't moved forward, or maybe we have moved forward, but we've moved back so often that it's like we haven't moved forward at all. The idea that we're still having a debate about this makes me realize that we just haven't, and I know that I basically just repeated myself, but it just baffles my mind that there is seriously still people who are against this. It shouldn't be up to you to decide who people should marry. I'm sorry, but it shouldn't. This is love that we're talking about, and whether you allow them to get married or not, they're not gonna just stop loving people because people say they should. So, seriously, just stop. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw out a hypothetical situation here. Let's say for the sake of argument that instead of living in a predominantly straight country or world as the case may be, like we do now, that's switched. We have a predominantly homosexual population as opposed to a heterosexual population. And let's say for the sake of argument that those people in charge, in this case homosexuals, try to put a ban on heterosexual marriage. Because as far as they're concerned, it's not natural. People should love the same sex, not the different sex. So let's put a ban on that because that way we feel more comfortable. How would that make you feel? Would you want them to do that? But guess what? That's what you're doing when you speak out against gay marriage. My hope is that people will eventually realize just how stupid and idiotic this particular stance against gay marriage is. I can only hope that soon there will be a time when we can look back and say, yes, we were incredibly stupid about this issue, just like we do now when we look back at how people viewed interracial marriage. And already we have the Supreme Court stepping in that direction, and hopefully the rest of the world will soon follow. So yeah, that is my hopefully more rational view when it comes to gay marriage. And I will see all of you at a later date.